Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. Gold. Today I am bringing you, finally, a Monk Monday. It's been quite a bit, and for those who don't know what that is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over what you could do better, maybe your teammates, and it doesn't have to be just Mistweaver, even though it's mostly Mistweaver, PvP, it doesn't have to be just that. I've done Mythic Plus, I've done, I haven't done Rage yet, but I've done Mythic Plus, Mistweaver, I've done Windwalker as well. So please send any gameplay you have, no one's going to judge you, no one, no, that's not what this channel is about at all. So no one, no one's going to care, no one's going to make fun of you. People want to help you get better, and one of the best ways to get better is to have another set of eyes on your gameplay. With that said, today we have Techers who watches the stream quite often. Hopefully I get a stream this week. I've been gone for a week uh, visiting family. And he says, I have submitted four games, two wins, two losses. Uh, rating is around 1,500. There's some moments where I panic. I'm sure that you'll see. When I first started healing and first started getting into PvP, even PvE, I panicked as well. So don't worry. Um, as always, love the content. Keep up the good work. The content, keep up the good work. Thank you, Techers. Yo, thank you so much, man. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Looks like we are playing Miss Weaver Frost Death Knight versus some Windwalker DH. So talents right here aren't too bad. The most important talent versus this is Eminence, just because they have stuns. Um, Disarm is really good versus the Demon Hunter. Do you need it that much? I would maybe Zen Focus Team might be a little bit better instead of Grapple Weapon, just because they both have kicks and it, it might be more useful. Peace Weaver is pretty decent versus the hunt if you could time it right. So if you have that timing down, I would say do it. Um, maybe Tiger's Lust instead of Chi Torpedo, but Tiger's Lust, I mean, your your Death Knight should be able to use their Change of Ice on your on the other team pretty well. So maybe you probably just Chi Torpedo is fine, but maybe instead of Grapple Weapon, play Zen Focus T because they have kicks and the Demon Hunter has kind of a range kick. So, uh, but the most important thing again is Eminence versus um, I'd probably just put a port down, statue up as well. We got a port down. I would statues up. All right, perfect. So I would say the kill target looks like the undergeared Windwalker, but it looks like they just want to go your Demon Hunter. Your Demon Hunter, or their Demon Hunter, Darknesses. And you're playing with the Frost Death Knight, so your goes are pretty. They're pretty consistent every minute. What you want to do is you want to get the blinding. I've always felt, I think it's blinding sleet, and which is, I think, what your Death Knight did here. Boom, right here. Only on the Windwalker. I would have definitely preferred to see the Blinding Sleet on both of them. But as long as you do it on the kill target, I guess it's not that bad. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll in or you're going to cheat Torpedo in. And you're going to leg sweep both of them. And that's that's pretty much your go every minute. And I think your Death Knight has some kind of stun off that maybe. Oh, a Silence, I think. He's probably not playing it versus this. But versus Hill DPS, that's what you're going to do. Um... So yeah, the, you kind of want to get as much as you can, much value out of the blind seat, but it looks like we get uh, your Death Knight IBFs there. And here comes the hunt. So if you're going to play Peace Weaver, you're kind of on the GCD though. So it's kind of odd. Let's see if you have time. You, I don't think you have, oh, you have time. You have time if you see it. I mean, it's fast, right? It's like really freaking fast. But if you see this hunt happening, just press revival. Your Death Knight can also AMS the damage or AMZ it. So, and we also have IBF up. So this shouldn't be a kill. Um, but yeah, Life Cocoon there, great. He gets a little low, a little touch of that there. It's a little scary. Thankfully, he didn't crit, and we had IBF up. So thankfully, they weren't coordinating that much. There's Karma from the Windwalker as well. And I would just like spam heal. Yeah, we got a Vivify there. I would throw in a Vel You definitely, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. One thing, one thing's for sure. Healing rotation-wise, uh, make sure you keep doing Mist up at like all time. Like right now, even right now, I would throw... Actually, let's let's bring it back a bit. Let's bring it back a bit. This is double DPS team, double melee. The game isn't going to go that long, so don't be afraid to use your cooldowns. Like you see, uh, Yulon right here. I would just press her right here. The Windwalker already used his mobility, and the Death Knight, or the Demon Hunter, is using the Burst cooldown. So just press Yulon and kind of you just pump healing, pretty much, it, even if it's overhealing. So after the stun goes down, I would press Yulon here because you can't even cash right now. Uh, because you're getting knocked in the air. And then I'll also throw Renewing Mist out. So I would use Yulon here. Throw Renewing Mist out. That way you don't fall too far behind. And then I would start cranking some heals. You also have Bone Dust Brew available. So Bone Dust Brew will help with any healing. And we still have Leg Sweep. And we still have Revival. So there's a lot of cooldowns. I would definitely throw... We're playing Cloud of Focus. Definitely th we have three stacks. We throw an Enveloping Mist out here. We have AMS. So we should be able to stop some of the Demon Hunter damage. Don't drop too low. Demon... 
the, uh, oh, wow, okay, I'm surprised we actually live there. All right, we disarm the Demon Hunter, I think he triggered it. We have Lex, no, we just used it, okay. Incap on the Windwalker is really good. Rop as well is pretty solid. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, that's stun from Demon I would definitely try to heal right now, though. Just because the Windwalker damage is so random, and they have, they're playing big in caps, so you kind of can fall behind really quickly. Yeah. Um, this really wasn't that bad of a game. I would just say try to use your Invoke Yulon and Bonus Brew a little bit more. Again, it's a, it's a double DPS match. It's not going to go three minutes long, so you're, you're not going to see Yulon again. So might as well just press her when you see damage coming out. And then Bonus Brew really is good. Um, if you're playing the Conduit, that increases the healing it does. I would definitely, it, it's just very strong when we cool down. Um, so play that, use it more often. We didn't use mana team at all. We uh, Double DPS didn't really have to, I guess, versus this kind of double melee team. But I would say the biggest thing is in this right here, when we start to fall behind boom, here, one, make sure you keep renewing mist up on your teammate. Two, when you have three stacks of surging of uh, clouded focus, Looks like Surging Mist back him up. Um, use Enveloping Mist, that's your best hot, and the healing from his increase. You also have Thunder Focus Seed, so what you could have done with this three stack right here, I think you still had three stacks with like Soothing Mist, like, wait, one, two, three, boom. What you could have done here on this GCD is Thunder Focus T into an Enveloping Mist, and I'm pretty sure your teammate would have been like topped. And then after this, after you stabilize here, you play, you use your Yulon, and then you just keep healing. Um, use Light Sweep when they stack, and. You'll be good. Uh, somehow, this stun got DR'd by this Remorseless Winter. If you're a Demon Hunter, if your Death Knight didn't uh, DR the stun, I think you could have killed the um, the Windwalker in like a stun. I would have killed the Windwalker, not the D Demon Hunter, I think, because uh, Windwalkers, their mobility is all they have, and after port, you could just run them down. But yeah, not a bad first game, like, at all. Uh, you just have to get the setup right, and you you'll be fine. The, the setup... It, with, when it comes to Mistweaver, the setup is what it's all about. I mean, uh, that's that's it. If you don't have setups, you're just going to lose on mana. Also, I see that we're a little bit undergeared, so... You know, that's okay. Okay. So we have... Okay, so we have DH again uh, with Resto Shaman. So, looks like we're playing Disarm. Which, I think Disarm is pretty good versus Demon Hunter. Especially when they use their big meta. Or like their other meta, the, I don't know, the, the other one with IP or whatever it's called. Um, I think the kill target is probably the Shaman, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because Shaman, oh, that's the hunt right off the right off the bat. Okay, well, I was not expecting that first global. Okay, you're stunned. You have the dot on you. Um, if you're playing Peace Weaver, okay. So right here, Peace Weaver. I feel like versus Demon Hunters, if teams stack up, they're just going to use their um, Chaos Nova. I would say right now is a pretty good time to revival because there's a hex coming in hot and we're stacked up so he's probably gonna stun you also you have the hunt dot on you so it kind of makes you immune to damage for a little bit and yeah i would say use revival right now obviously hunt says 2020 i mean stun's fine cocoon is fine too cocoon is fine um i don't think there's anything maybe you could have done you could have ported diffuse magic i guess that might have been a little bit better but overall i think it's it's not bad. Just make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself. Put a renewing mist on yourself because what what life cocoon does is it also gives you a shield, of course, obviously, but it also makes your hots heal for more. So probably enveloping mist or renewing mist is instant. So just I would just throw a renewing mist on yourself here and do your best. That's IBF from your death knight. Maybe not necessary, but that's okay. I would I would honestly say the kill target is the resto shaman. I think resto shaman really struggle versus frost death knights. And the reason another reason why you want to go the shaman is so that they stack up. So that way. When you're hitting the shaman, when you're when your your death knight's hitting the shaman, they're stacked up. You can get the double blinding sleet into the double leg sweep, and then off of that, if they trink, if the shaman trinkets, you can your your death knight can silence off of that, which is even better. So just keep that in mind. Um, we did use revival there. I saw peace weaver, disarm on the death knight or demon hunter. Uh, is meta up? Meta's up. Okay, perfect. I don't think this is a bad time. You can disarm. Good juke, good, insane juke on that sheer. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Ascendance is down. Lava burst coming hot. So one very quickly, very small, but it doesn't matter. Um, the higher rating, no, it does matter. You see this um, flame shock here. Well, this, what it does is it's a dot on you. I'm sure you know it's a dot on you. But what it also does is when this shaman right here casts this lava burst, 
if there's a flame shock on the target, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna crit 100% of crits. So whenever I see lava burst coming in hot and I see a flame shock, um, I I try to dispel this as soon as like right now I would dispel it so that they can't reapply it and then and then you know after my dispel that so then I can't dispel it. So um, dispel the flame shock here so that the lava burst doesn't crit. Um, and it doesn't do as much damage. We see that little meatball coming in hot, man. I think we're kind of freaking out. I get to, we're kind of we're, we're we're freaking out a little bit. I would just say what you want to do in this situation, and I have to like reevaluate during games too all the time. Is like what what are we doing, and how how like how are we gonna win this game? Pretty much like ask yourself how how do we win this game? I think I think you win this game by kiting the demon hunter or not kiting the demon hunter. Killing the rest of shaman and then having them stack somehow. So for in, in order for your the demon hunter to hit your DK instead of you, you, just get out of there. You know, just get out of there. I see that your DK has no IBF for anything. So I would position myself first of all. I don't think I would position on this middle pillar. I think it's really annoying. I don't know about you. I actually hate this middle pillar. I would try to get closer to one of these two side pillars and just kind of take advantage of the LOS. Uh, that way the shaman can't CC you and stuff like that. But great job keeping your mist up and we get beautiful vivify. Give me one more. Nice job. We get sheared. So you get sheared on nature, which is, it is not the best, but what you can do when you're locked out is you can use your bone dust brew. And that's, that's really, really good. Because now if you bone dust brew here, cause it's on the GCD, if you bone dust brew and then you come out of the lockout, it's going to land before then. Great Yulon here. Beautiful. There's no shear. Great ink cap on the hex. Throw an envelope mist out. Oh, okay. So Yulon, in case you didn't know. Yulon really is useless unless you put enveloping mist out. So right here, oh, right here would have been a beautiful time because you got the in cap on the shaman. Demon hunter is too far away to kick you. What you could do is you could also manatee if you have it. You have manatee up. Manatee enveloping mist here with Yulon up. Be and then puts enveloping breath on, on your target. And that's a huge hot with, again, you do more healing. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you have Yulon, try to get an enveloping mist out on whoever's taking the most damage. Was that a trinket? Did we trinket that? Or did, did, did it break? I think it broke. Right? He breaks it. Okay. I thought it was blind there. Yeah, you definitely. Enveloping Mist isn't bad to use. And then you, I would. Yes. See, there you go. Okay. So you see right here. This is a hot called Enveloping Breath. I'll put something on the screen for you. Um, but what it does is it, it's basically a hot. But it also increases the healing on your target. So that's why it's so. I mean, it's good. It costs a lot of mana if you don't have manatee. It, but it's good. Yulon, you know, Yulon, what can you know? Yulon. Um, there's bonus brew. Perfect. Great, great, great time. Chain Harvest. Chain Harvest is a Venthyr Shaman. I would, now that we know that the Shaman is Venthyr, I would even say it's, it's even more of a kill target than before. But yeah, crank those healing out right now. Great. Uh, Hex coming in hot. Nice. We get this where Morris's winner's stun on both of them. I would go in. There's a trinket as well from the Shaman. Get a leg sweep on this Hex, please. In cap or. or Incap this hex and then leg sweep him. Trinket leg sweep. That's okay. That's alright. Alright. Wait, can we just see if can I just see if we kill the shaman? Oh no. My, you gotta just follow that route. Nice. Um, okay, let's play it back. I was getting a little excited there. Um, so we get hexed into a hunt here. Instantly I would just defuse magic because this dot is pretty significant it does quite a bit of damage so i would use diffuse magic here just trade it out throw renewing mist on yourself and then what you could do is you could just peel for yourself here use in cap uh, if we have it and then just roll away that's what i would do to get away from this demon hunter and then reset your port as well i don't know your port's right here in the middle of the map you probably want to like move on one of the side pillars i would say so i would in cap dispel root perfect we get kicked it's fine um nice drop please kill them oh my god this guy's at th thank god okay the reason i made a face here the reason i made a face here is because the last thing you want to do versus the resto shaman is like push onto the resto shaman because the shaman has kicks purges slows roots like hexes so the last thing you want to do <laughs> is roll into a shaman almost though if you rolled onto this side of the pillar over here it would have been pretty good because then your LOS the shaman who do, who can't kick you and then you can also reset your port. But I can see that we're also trying to get touch death and really insane rob here to, to, to deny the spirit only totem. Uh, really, really good job. Good game. Good, good overall game. Um, when, when you feel like you're falling behind 
or you're starting to freak out, just like tone it down and then like take it down and then think like how how do we win this game and then kill on the resto shaman. I I told you, you know, resto shaman versus frost death knights. Resto shaman really really struggle. They just always have and they probably always will struggle. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, all right, we got arms warrior. Oh, H belly. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Let's make sure I'm recording the right screen. It's been a week since I've recorded any videos. All right, let me see. Okay. Mistrap is good. Cheater Pedo. No, no, no. Good. This is a holy pally. So we have grapple weapon, eminence, peace weaver. Um. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Peace Weaver is weird, but I run it too. It's like, I can't blame him at all, especially if he's Kyrian. Like, you just revival out of there. Um, so, if you don't know, I normally go Peace Weaver. So, I mean, this is fine. This is good. Uh, warriors, basically, Warriors come down to trading cooldowns for their cooldowns. You can't you can't use your cooldowns. You can't. I mean, you, you literally can't, or you'll die. You can't use your cooldowns before they use theirs, or you will die in a Storm Bolt. Or a Hodge. Uh, it's really scary versus Holy Pally version, because... They have a Hodge, so what you want to do is you want to save your Eminence for Hodges and not Storm Bolts. You need to eat the Storm Bolts and port the Hodges, which sucks, essentially. Oh, okay. Oh, my guy just missed the Spear. We're on our port, so we can't port this. Fear, Shadow. This warrior is using everything right now. What I, what you should do is, one, you can in-cap the Shackle, or two, just jump off the side here and be LOS the warrior and force the warrior. Wait, we... Okay. Wait one sec. Your DK IBF'd the Hodge. He gets Hodge here. I probably wouldn't have IBF'd if I was him, especially since the Warrior's not hitting him. You know, I I I don't play a Death Knight, so maybe there's like a reason, <laughs> but I don't think the reason's good enough to justify IBFing when the Warrior isn't hitting you. But that's fine. Nice. All right, we got Bubble. All right, yeah, I, I, IBF is worth. It. You have Colossus Smash on you, so good Rob here. Oh. oh, listen to me. You won't get it. You won't get this knock. You want to know why? Because I try to get, I try to knock warriors off them, off this all the time. Okay, it works for you. Doesn't work for me. I swear, it just never works for me. Um, good rob, uh, good knock. I, we need to run. You know, you, you know what you need to do? Run. Don't stick around. You see this warrior? Like, just think that this warrior is trying to kill you. He's trying to kill you. Don't stick around. What, after the really good knock here, I would just come over here and force the warrior to run through your death knight. Also, you should be telling your death knight right now, yo, after this blade storm, please God put a chains of ice on him. And you need your warrior to keep, not your warrior, your death knight to keep chains of icing the warrior repeatedly over and over and over and over again. Uh, but yeah, don't run towards this warrior. I mean, you want to roll away and then do we have disarm or do we use it yet? Yes, okay, okay, good, perfect. Good leg sweep. Uh, it's DR though, I guess it's not that good. It's DR stun. So it's not the greatest leg sweep here. Could have waited, I think, eight seconds. Seven, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six seconds to get a full leg sweep. So probably not the most useful leg sweep. Uh, make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself. Don't stick around, I swear. You're, 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 you're actually terrifying me right now. Um, do not stick around <laughs> versus a warrior. I mean, this warrior is slightly undergeared, but he can still smash us. He, they still smash Miss Weaver. Um, yeah. Incap, he is Zerka Rage. So warriors have this ability right here. This little angry looking fellow right here. What it does is it removes that. It removes and makes them immune to like fears, incaps, charms, I think. So it's a 30 second. Uh, is that a minute cooldown? I think it's a minute cooldown. So if you in-cap there, it just doesn't matter because um, he can just get out of it. This might be spear, so be careful. Nice, 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 good. That was, this is sharpened too. And he also went battle stance. All right, great. Yes, 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 good, perfect. Now roll away, keep rolling. Life cocoon. We had another roll. Yeah, perfect, see? And he had no mobility. So maybe a waste of life cocoon, but I can kind of understand it. It is getting a little scary right now. Um, Juke on the warrior there, perfect. Disarm on the warrior. It doesn't... See, the problem right now is I don't believe that was Warbreaker. Because you don't have the debuff on you, so... Oh, this is scary. You might... 
Okay, good. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We have ROP as well. So we get kicked, which is probably not the best. Uh, we're trying to port. Okay. Okay, when we get... Okay, for, first off... Let's see. Let's see kind of where it went. Uh, for, right here. On, it started going downhill right here. I'm not going to lie. This is where it went downhill. I'm sorry. <laughs> Versus Warriors, what you want to do, like straight up, you, you don't... You play a little game with yourself and see... What, you, what I do is I see how long I can go without the warrior hitting me. That's what you want to do. You want to go as long as you can without this warrior touching you. Nothing. He make it make it so he can't touch you at all. So this is a really good drop. Don't stick around. Run. I mean, seriously, like literally run for your life. I would have maybe he's blade storming up the middle. Um, so I would probably, you know roll towards this ramp over here because you it is a twos game, right? So and then I was saying, hey, yo, uh Zen Zen log, Zen log. Can you please chains of ice the warrior as much as you can off cooldown and such and grip and grip the warrior all you know grip slow anything like that to just get him away from you do it please and then as soon as you kite away over here you you like decently fine uh but instead we kind of push in onto him and for a dr leg sweep into an in cap that and then because of that we have to port so that's not that's not really great and then and then we juke here. I don't know. So right here, we could have been fine. Um, he can't hit. He can't. He can't interrupt you from range. So, and he already used Stormbolt. So you should be good. I would say, just throw an enveloping miss on yourself here. You're at 100 percent mana. You know, monk. The pally's at 44. At 44. At 44 percent. Oh my god. 88 percent. So, I would have thrown an enveloping miss on myself here and been fine. I really like the porting down below though. And this, this right here is where I would have leg swept the warrior. Um, instead of the DR stun up top, this is where I would have leg swept him because the pally can't bop him to get out, can't freedom him to get away, nothing. So I would have leg swept here and then rolled away because you have a roll right here, a cheat torpedo. And then I would have went upstairs. So, and then you wouldn't have had a life cocoon, which is great. And you see he has, he has no mobility. Bonus brew is good too. And then, yeah, I think we get kind of just uh kind of rough here oh also we disarm i don't he doesn't have war oh he used warbreaker now okay this was a good do we disarm here okay it was a good disarm my bad my bad yeah good this is perfect and then what do we have we still have yulon we have revival for the peace weaver um we have dampen harm as well so we have cooldowns here but i think we get kicked i think we try to juke here yeah we get stunned uh we have trinket okay late trinket was fine and then Yulon here, and then here's the problem. Right here, you get kicked. You could still use cooldowns. Like, you could still roll and dampen harm while kicked. So what, I don't think this warrior has any mobility left, and what you could have done is roll off the edge. And if he chased you, you can in-cap, because you see this cooldown, this ability right here, the Zerka Rage, it, that gets rid of in-cap. It's on cooldown for 20 seconds, and you have in-cap. So if you roll away, and he chases after you, you can in-cap him, he has no trinket, and you get away, and then you can pour it up and keep running. So, biggest, biggest takeaway from this game: get away from warriors, man. They ain't. They're not trying to give you a hug. They ain't trying to hug you. They're trying to kill you. You know. And try, try not to dr like sweep. Um, try to hold on to as much as you can, and then kite down below, and then port up when you can, because then they, you're not in line of them to like leap charge you or like just charge you. Hopefully that's helpful. Warriors are kind of annoying though. They they are annoying, um, but you can. It's possible to beat them. It's just really freaking annoying, man. All right, Windwalk or Holy Pally versus Miss Weaver Death Knight. Port down, good. This is a very tough matchup. This is a very very tough matchup um, because Windwalkers kind of own Death Knights. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Holy Pally, though. Holy Pally is kind of taken from. Frost Death Knights as well. Dispel that Hodge. Good. Your DK. IBF's the first on every game. <laughs> and that's not good for you. Because now the Windwalker. Sees that he used IBF. And then. Like swaps to you. So. Maybe be a little bit quicker on the Dispels. But that's pretty much it. I don't know. He keeps. Uh, like. Do we Dispel? Where's our Dispel? No, I guess not. All right. Probably just spell a little faster because this guy's got a trigger finger for his IBF. And then the Windwalker swaps to you. Nice. Ooh, that was really nice. Okay, I would leg sweep here and then 
Okay, did we dispel that? I think we did. Nice. No, we triggered. Okay. UTK is very aggressive. And I, you know what? I honestly commend it. I really do. But I would say, hopefully, that they don't kill him. We got Bubble, which is good. Blinding Sleet on the Windwalker. Um, in cap. Okay. No lifesaver or anything. I would start cutting away from your port. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. I hope we're playing Eminence, but. Okay, there's okay. That, okay, there's like sweep. I was gonna say, man, you might have been in some trouble, and and he's spinning to win. Yeah, great. I don't think the pally is any CC. No way. Revival there. Oh my god, I cannot believe he just lived that. This Windwalker is not happy. You know his touch that didn't light up that entire time. <laughs> Put a renewing mist on yourself. Beautiful, good stun here as well. Um, so this is a really good. Let's 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 see here. The most, the best time you can learn. Is when your team the globals you use right before someone is about to die those are the most important globals in the game so let's see let's see what we use actually let, let's let's bring it back a little bit let's bring it back okay right, we freak out we used enveloping mist we didn't freak out i mean they're freaking out okay oh we break okay okay biggest if there's any takeaway any takeaway from this video right here you got two stacks of cloud of focus two stacks Please use Enveloping Mist for the, like, please. Envelop, plus you have Nourishing Chi, Conduit Active, which buffs your healing. So please use Enveloping Mist. Don't be afraid to use Enveloping Mist. There's nothing wrong with it. There's, there's nothing wrong. You also have Thunder Focus T. So use Thunder Focus T Enveloping Mist way more often, especially when you have stacks of Cloud of Focus. It's so much healing. Like it, it is so much, it would, it'll help so much. And they don't have any purges. So you, it'll, the hot sticks, let me tell you something. It's incredible. So, and then we, we move and break our stacks, and then we lose our Nourishing Chi. I cannot believe we didn't die here, though. I'm going to be honest. I am very surprised. <laughs> they have Incap now. There's a Double Fist. Wings from the Pally. Double Stun from us. Wait, what are we doing right now? All right, yeah. No, I would definitely be spam healing. Like, I, I like the Renewing Mist. Like, just put the Renewing Mist on him, and then... Oh, we get Yulon out. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe we just lived that. Holy cow. Okay. We lived it. We lived it. We pour it, which is good. And now it's our turn. Now it's our turn. Um, we have Yulon up. Great. Hot here. You get the nice little uh, enveloping breath hot, which is great. And put now is a good time to put new mist on yourself. Great bonus brew here as well, because we are taking damage. Again, like, I'm, like I said in the beginning, what Death Knights kind of take it from monks. They really do. Um, so just keep that in mind. And it looks like they kind of want to swap to Chi Burst is an interesting option from the Windwalker. I would, okay, yeah, I would go for an incap here on the Pally, probably. Yeah, I, I would go for an incap here on the Pally, on this heal. That way, because he is on forbearance for 15 seconds, and the Pally has no trinket or a bubble. Yes, great, uh, beautiful. Maybe a little bit quicker, but beautiful. And there's a Malik Trinket coming out. That's Diffuse Magic as well. Put back onto you. Blinding Sleet comes out. So right here, this is the ideal time. This is when you'd go in for a double leg sweep, pretty much. And it looks like we're getting a lot of damage going out here on the Windwalker. Great silence on the Pally, too. And it looks like the Windwalker... Did we reset our port? I don't... Yeah, nope, we didn't. <laughs> no, no, we did not. Okay. Thankfully, he uses Rop defensive. No, get out of there. No, no, no. You don't want to stick around. See, this is like the warrior game. Don't stick around. This Windwalker isn't trying to like be friends with you. You want to you really get out of there as much as you can and roll. So what I would do is I put a Rop down right here. Great job. And then roll behind this pillar. That's what I would do. Cheat repeater behind the pillar. We still have Trinket, which is great. Yeah, I would not be pushing. I would definitely not be trying to get close to this Windwalker at all. Like at all great job resetting port get a get you know get some healing going out beautiful beautiful uh i would put renewing mist great there's an envelope put renewing mist out oh 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 god okay okay in cap okay god you're scaring me you're scaring me but oh my god this was a pretty pretty fun game to watch um <laughs> the biggest takeaway it's actually really good because each of these videos has something or each of these games has something that like you can work on which is really nice um normally it's like the same issue but it's actually like cool that you could you can you have different it's nice so this one right here just comes down to using your cooldowns it's double dps so just use your cooldowns you know use your yulon get your hots out as much as you can 
Um, use your leg sweep if they get stacked or if they're on top of you. And yeah, overall, just try, try to stay far away and just heal. They don't have a lot of CC. Uh, this one right here, the Demon Hunter game, I think this was, we beat them. Yeah, this just came down to target choosing, you know, kill that Shaman instead of the, the, the Demon Hunter. And then try to line up your cooldowns with the Hunt. Great disarms on the meta as well. Um, make sure you put your, the, on that map specifically, I would put your port kind of like on one of the side ones, not the middle one. The ramp one is just a nightmare, especially for healing and LOS. So try to put your port on like one of the side pillars and then just heal, heal from range, kite. Use your in cap and leg sweep to peel for yourself. This warrior game really it just comes down to one mistake, but there's a chain reaction. Uh, just get away from the warrior as much as you can. Whenever you see Warbreaker, use disarm and try to kite underneath, like underneath the, the the bridge. That way, when you port up, they can't really get to you. It's kind of make, it makes it difficult. And if they do leap up to get to you, just use Rob and knock them off again. And basically make warriors life hell, because who likes warrior, you know? And then this last one. Uh, Healing rotation. I think um, these other ones were pretty good, but I would definitely make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself and your teammates. But healing wise, healing rotation. When you have your feet planted and you're using clouded focus, if you got two, if you have two stacks just and no enveloping mist and your teammate is dying, thunder focus team enveloping enveloping mist is is it's, it's insane. It's, it it will save you. It uses mana, but it will save you mana compared to just spamming vivifies. Um, but yeah, overall, this last game was really fun to watch. I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot of fun to watch. And uh, that is pretty much it for me. I am happy to finally do another Monk Monday. It's been a while, but hopefully this was helpful for you techers or anyone watching. Um, and I think that is it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.